this rap game, it's a way of life for us, you know what I'm saying? We ain't just not in the studio just doing nothing, out. everything we do, that's our life, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Family it's family base. Us, you know what I'm saying? We just trying to put it down, help everybody come up, you know what I'm saying, in this game. Many upcoming artists will get their start on these screw tapes. Artists such as Lil Kiki, Botany Boys, ESG, Lil O, KK, Mike D, Young Star, Zero, Trey, Lil Flip, as well as those no longer with us like Fat Pat, Big Hawk, Big Mo, Big Pokey, Mafio, Big Steve, Mr. 3 2, BG Gator, Matt Grace, and more. RIP. These tapes would be sold in large volumes and would change the way music was promoted and sold in the state of Texas in the South. A lot of these artists were signed to big time records and independent record labels started by Russell Washington, who also passed away early last year. RIP. At one point in time, UGK was signed to big time releasing Southern Way and Band before signing with Jive. They also signed PSK 13, 20 to Life, and Reckless Clan. Those familiar with Southwest Wholesale or Southwest Distribution know if you could get your product to these types of distributors, as well as every mom and pop store who does consignment, you can make a lot of money, as long as you have some good music. DJ Screw's movement would spawn several others in Houston, as well as other parts of Texas. Most notably, Swisher House, started by DJ Michael Watts and OG Ron C, who is now an in-house producer at OVO Sound. Swisher House, making its mark in the late 90s and early 2000s, was spawn a long list of talent, names like Slim Thug, Archie Lee, Kuda Bang, The Millionaire, Paul Wall, Mike Jones, Magno, 5050 Lil Twin, and probably more. Swisher House will follow the same format like Screw, selling CDs out the trunk, as well as mom and pop stores across the South. I'm pretty sure Chameleonaire's mixtape Messiah was one of the greatest selling mixtapes of all time, and I'm sure he sold quite a few directly from his website, Chameleonaire.com. There will be several other groups and independent labels that will take the same approach. Groups such as the Freestyle Kings, DSR out of Dallas, and Mr. Pookie and Mr. Lucci, who started their own label, Crawl the Ball Records, which is now Stony Crook Records. On a side note, Mr. Pookie, according to SoundScan, had the highest selling independent album in Dallas with the Rippler, and may be still to this day. To this day! 